It's a billion pound business with a huge audience around the world. Bernie Eccleston has been credited with transforming Formula One into a lucrative industry, but now he's facing a battle over its future. The media tycoon Robert Rupert Murdoch is vying to take it over when the current contract expires next year, while some leading teams are talking about running it themselves. Our sports reporter came in, Zerum, has more. It wasn't long ago that Silverstone was preparing for the worst. F1 was fed up with the second-rate facilities and threatening to leave. Cool indeed, because the bling is back. A brand new paddock and the home of British motorsport screeches into the 21st century. It's fantastic, it's brilliant. There's no reason why this can't be one of the finest places in the world. In the world, not in Europe, in the world. So it appears that the future of Silverstone, the very home of British motor racing, is secure now for a generation. But what about the sport itself? Could it be lured by the riches, the largesse of satellite television? It's been many decades since these guys dominated the racetrack. New courses in the likes of China, India and Abu Dhabi began to make Silverstone look, well, tired. Meanwhile, with Bernie Eccleston at the helm, the Formula One brand attracted investment in excess of £50 billion. Now, those commercial rights will soon be up for renegotiation. Guess who's apparently stalking? None other than Rupert Murdoch with his News Corp billions. It's always good when you've got a few Aussies floating around, isn't it? So if Rupert comes around, then uh, why not? But um, I think uh, the sport, um, you know, it's, it's, it's got strong again in the last few years, obviously off the back of the Schumacher years when obviously everyone was falling asleep and Michael's winning every race. And who would doubt a resurgent F1 would be a sound investment? But it seems Murdoch's attentions and moving to satellite or pay-to-view television aren't that welcome. We don't want to limit the... Uh... Uh, the audience of Formula 1 in the future and uh, it's worked very successfully with terrestrial TV and uh, we think that's the model for the future. Even looking at the amount of money that's been pumped into football? Well our model works, I mean the amount of income that we're getting into Formula 1 is, is considerable. What we want to do is perhaps uh, change the ratio a little bit. Which translates to more money for the teams. There's talk they might try and emulate basketball where in America, the clubs bought the rights to the league. No-brainer? Well, not if it creates a conflict of interest. I think the problem you always have with, with the competitors running the sport is that they have vested interests. So there, there does need to be someone who's, who's standing outside and taking a much more uh, overarching view of, of the sport and protecting um, whatever it is as a sport, because um, there is a fine line between entertainment and, and sports. Indeed there is, but F1 is, and always has been, a little bit of both. Formula One can't get much bigger. Can't get much richer, no, can it? No, I mean, Formula One is, what, the third biggest sporting event in the world, behind only the World Cup and the Olympics. No wonder the race, for who owns it, has already begun. Kami Enzerum, Channel 4 News, at Silverstone.